In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at an adding decimals example. And the example we have is 2.6 plus 4.9. So whenever you are adding decimals, we're going to do the same thing as we do when we are adding whole numbers. But, however, this time, when we are adding decimals, we make sure the decimal point is lined up. So we're adding 2.6 plus 4.9. And as you guys could see, the decimal points are lined up. Now we can work this question out. So when we are adding decimals, the decimal point must always be lined up. So 6 plus 9 is going to be 15 and carry the 1 over to the other side. So 1 plus 2 plus 4. 1 plus 2 is going to be 3. 3 plus 4 is going to be 7. So we get 7 and add the decimal point. So we get an answer of 7.5. So this means our answer to this question is 7.5. Now, let's have a look at an adding decimals example. And the example we have is 6.87 plus 9.65. So once again, we're going to arrange this out as if we are adding a whole number, but we're going to make sure the decimal points are lined up. So we're going to do 6.87 plus 9.65. And once again, we can see that the decimal points are lined up. So now we can add this up. 7 plus 5 is going to be 12, so put the 2 down and take the 1 as a carry. Carry to the other side, 1 plus 8 is going to be 9, and then 9 plus 6 is going to be 15. Write the 5 and take the 1 as a carry. So 1 plus 6 is going to be 7, then 7 plus 9 is going to be 16. So write the 16, and write the decimal point. So we get an answer of 16.52. So this means our answer to this question is 16.52. Now, let's have a look at another adding decimals example. And this example is 8.24 plus 4.8. So once again, we're going to arrange this out as if we are adding normal whole numbers, but make sure the decimal points are lined up. So we're going to add 8.24 plus 4.8. Point eight. So because we have a gap here, so after lining the decimal points up, we have a gap right here. We don't have any numbers there, so we're just going to fill that with a zero instead. Now we can add these numbers up. So a thing to remember, if you're left with a gap after lining the numbers up, just add a zero to the end, since this does not change the value of the number itself. 4.80 and 4.8 are the same. Adding the zero on the end does not change the value of 4.8. Now we can add these numbers up. So 4 plus zero is going to be four. Eight plus two is going to be 10. So write the zero and take the one as a carry. So one plus eight is going to be nine. And then nine plus four is going to be 13. And then write the decimal point. So we get an answer of 13.04. So this means our answer to this question is 13.04. Now, let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're adding three numbers. 6.12 plus 2.436 plus 8.417. But this time, we have three decimals. And that's the only difference we're going to do. So write these numbers down and arrange them with the decimal points. So 6.12 plus 2.4. 3, 6, once again, the decimal points are lined up, and then 8.417. Notice how we have a space here without any numbers. We're just going to add a zero at the end, because as we said before, adding a zero to the end of a number does not change the value of the decimal itself. So we have 6.120 plus 2.436 plus 8.417. Now we can add these numbers up. So... 0 plus 6 plus 7. 0 plus 6 is 6, and then 6 plus 7 is 13. Write the 3, take the 1 as a carry. Now 1 plus 2 is going to be 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. 
write the 7. Next up, 1 plus 4 is going to be 5, and 5 plus 4 is going to be 9. Write the 9 down, and then finally, 6 plus 2 is going to be 8, and 8 plus 8 is going to be 16. Write the 16, and write the decimal point. So this means we get an answer of 16.973. Now, let's have a look at this example. And in this adding decimals example, we have to add four numbers. So we're going to do the same thing as we did before with the, all the other numbers. But however, this time, we have to add four numbers instead. But other than that, the question is going to stay the same. So we have 6.21 plus 15.382 plus 516.7 and 0 0.85. So we're going to add all of these four numbers or all of these four decimals. So now we need to arrange these numbers, making sure that all of the decimal points are in line with each other. So 6.21 and then 15.382 and then 516.7 and finally 0 0.85. Notice how we have space at some places. We're just going to fill them up with zeros because adding a zero to a decimal does not change the value of the decimal itself. It keeps it the same. We can also add a zero right here if you want to, but it is not necessary. So now let's add these numbers up. So zero plus two plus zero plus zero is just going to remain as two. Next, one plus eight is nine, nine plus zero is going to be 9, and 9 plus 5 is going to be 14. Write the 4, take the 1 as a carry. 1 plus 2 is going to be 3, 3 plus 3 is going to be 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, and 13 plus 8 is going to be 21. Write the 1, take the 2 as a carry. 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 6 is 19. And finally, 90 plus 0 is going to remain as 19. So write the 9, take the 1 as a carry, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So write the 3, and finally we only have a 5 right here, so write the 5 down. Now add the decimal point, the decimal point is right here, so our decimal point will go after the 9 and between the 1. So right here. So this means our answer to this question is 539.142. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.